In the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Hello and a warm welcome to all of you, dear brothers and sisters, viewers of Marjaya TV. You are with us with another episode of the program Marjaya Horizon. Stay tuned, watching news, reports and meetings all regarded the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Hussaini Shirazi. And now let's watch Guidance, which it is a short clip of Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi's speech. <laughs> In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. If you do good, you will do good for your own souls. And if you do evil, it shall be for them. The Holy Quran stated in this verse that if you do good deeds, their consequences will come back to yourself. And if you do bad deeds, then their own consequences will also come back to yourself. When someone is passing a valley, he will fall down if he wouldn't be careful. Who will be injured? Who will have broken legs and hands? Who will die? He himself. This is a logical and rational issue similar to mathematical equations. When you put two and two together, the result is only four. Two brothers at a time of Imam Qasim, peace be upon him, who were traveling together, were very close to each other. They came across a village on their way. They had a dispute over something and started fighting and insulted each other. And they stopped talking to each other and they split their ways. In the middle of a way, in one of the village close by, one of them decided to pay his old aunt a visit who lived there. He visited his aunt and did his duty. Seeing her nephew after some years, the aunt became very happy. One of the brothers visited Imam Qasim, peace be upon him. It has been mentioned in the narration that Imam asked about his brother. He answered that his brother and his stay in one of the village in the middle of the trip. Imam stated, you stopped talking to each other and insulted each other. Allah Almighty, because of your wrong act, ordered the angel of death to shorten your lifespan from your destiny that it might be a long lifetime. Cutting your relationship with family members will shorten your life. But then you visited your aunt and did your duty. And Allah Almighty ordered the angel of death to delay your death for 20 years for the good deed you carried out. Imam said that the man's brother was going to die, but he hadn't yet. <clears throat> and the man himself would go back to city with 20 more years to live. One of the companions of Imam Qasim, peace be upon him, called Ali ibn Abi Hamza, who heard this story, has quoted it. The year after, I saw the man and I asked after his brother. And he told me that his brother had died on the way. Ali ibn Abi Hamza said, I saw that man living till 20 years later. 
The Holy Quran states that if you do good, you will do good for your own soul. And if you do evil, it shall be for you. There are some people whose parents are bad tempered, they should tolerate them because they will be benefited. There are some parents that their kids are rebellious and parents should tolerate them. This is not an easy task, it requires a decision. Every person should decide to do what is good in the eye of Allah and avoid committing any act which is not approved of by Allah Almighty. If someone decides he'll be successful, Allah Almighty will help those who make good decisions. And Ahl al-Bayt, peace be upon him, will also help them with their blessings. His Holiness Imam Mahdi, may Allah his and his reappearance has been quoted at that. We will be kind to such people and grant them our blessings. But every human should decide for such goals. I hope by the blessing of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance on this Friday which belongs to him. We are all benefiting and make our decisions to be successful. Following the daily meetings of the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi in recent days, a number of scholars, religious, cultural and social figures, along with different groups of youngsters and the public from all around the world, attended Ayatollah Shirazi's central office and gave ear to the words, guidelines and advices from the Grand Jurist. My name is Mir Alim from Baku, Azerbaijan. I am here to visit the Holy Shrine of Lady Fatima, peace be upon her, and I have met with the Grand Jury Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Qom. I am thankful that I met with the Ayatollah and wish him a long life. I knew the Grand Jury Ayatollah Shirazi as a respected jurist and scholar. Today, in our meeting with Ayatollah Shirazi, he mentioned the hadith from Prophet Muhammad and asked us to preserve good manners to near to God and the Holy Ahlul Bayt. We could witness these good manners in the Ayatollah in the first place. Since a child, I liked to meet with Ayatollah Shirazi in person and today I am more than happy after this meeting. My name is Mir Talib and I am from Baku in Azerbaijan. We are on a pilgrimage trip in Iran to visit the holy shrines of Imam Rida and Lady Masuma, peace be upon them. After our meeting with Ayatollah Shirazi, I really felt relieved and happy. 
Today, after the Ayatollah's words, I learned to talk and act with pure heart and sincere kindness. I really feel ashamed when sitting with Ayatollah Shirazi for the sins I have committed in the past. Today, I decided to repent on my past mistakes and to start a new life based on Ayatollah Shirazi's advice. My name is Hussain Kurbanov. Today, at the presence of Ayatollah Shirazi, we learn how to be good with people in our dealings. I wish a long and happy life for the Grand Ayatollah because he is an important person for all Shias in all over the world. The Grand Ayatollah is a deputy of the Holy Imam Mahdi and thus I am happy for the chance of meeting him. We see the Grand Ayatollah as a Grand Shia religious authority and a reviver of Husayni rituals. I have personally met with many religious experts, but never had the chance to meet a grand religious authority in jurist, especially someone like the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. We are the followers and lovers of Ayatollah in Azerbaijan, and today we got to meet him and ask our questions. I wish Ayatollah Shirazi and his respected family to have a good and happy life. The Grand Ayatollah advised us to observe good manners and to have our hearts close to Ahlul Bayt. I am Sayyid Akbar from Baku in Azerbaijan. Here in Qom and after visiting the Holy Shrine of Lady Fatima Mahsouma, peace be upon her, we attended the office of Ayatollah Shirazi and met with the Grand Jurist. We had met with the Grand Jurist several times over in the past and each time we learned new things from him. In this meeting, everyone was deeply impressed by his advice. We all have decided to take these advices to our hearts and to practice them in our daily lives and also to observe good manners at all times.
In past recent days, Adam Global Center, Imam Shirazi World Foundation and the Human Rights Centers dependent to the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi have released messages in which they warn the severe conditions of warhead people in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon and Jordan. These centers also urge for a quick mobilization of the attentions of the international communities to these people and their tough conditions. These two centers also publish reports about the lack of the elementary life necessities for millions of displaced people sheltering themselves in the mountainous areas after indiscriminate attacks by the terrorist groups. In these messages, these human rights centers urge the regional countries and human rights organization to dispatch their aids and stop a human crisis. Let's watch this report. The bad situation of the warhead people is now a crisis in the Muslim world, but unfortunately they don't have the means to voice their sufferings at the UN. Technically, there are many organizations that attend to the efforts of the displaced people like churches all over the world. However, such is not true about Islamic countries. This is why we should be trying to find a way to help the Muslim displaced people. Therefore, we fairly expect the Muslim humanitarians and those who can fund such movements to step forward and establish organizations to support warhead and displaced people. Of course, after guidances by the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shirazi, there are a number of people who are working to found such organizations. Our revenues will only be limited to the donators, and no country will support us. Yet we hope that we can be the voice of the displaced at the UN and international communities and reflect their sufferings in the world. At the moment, we lack such tribune, but through efforts by the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi, Imam Shirazi World Foundation is now focusing to reach practical results and help the displaced. We confront many questions about helping the displaced, and we try to direct these spiritual and financial supports to these people. We also have organized many groups who visit and inquire about the life conditions of these people. In Iraq, the head of Ayatollah Shirazi's public relation office, Sayyid Arif Nasrullah, and many others are involved in providing help to the displaced and war hit people. Security is the biggest concern of these people. And then comes the issue of dealing with cold and hot weather and food. You know, when people are forced to leave their homes behind, they suffer from financial problems. Countries also leave them to the UN while this organization doesn't have the power to provide security and other life necessities for them. As an example, the UN provided Iraqi displaced people with 19 to 25 tents, and if it was not for the Husseinias between cities of Najaf and Karbala, these people wouldn't have any place to shelter in. Now we see that countries like Turkey, Jordan, and Saudi Arabia simply overlook these refugees. They behave these people unfairly only for political reasons, and this is one of the biggest problems of the Muslim world. And now we are going to watch the most important news all around the world regarding Ayatollah Shirazi in the next part of our program, News in Brief. Blood donations, support of Iraqi casualties, a vast number of Iraqi Shias attending in the mosque of Sayyid Shabab Ahlul Jannah in the capital city of Baghdad donated their blood in support of wounded devotees of Iraq and encountering the terrorist groups. This cooperation program accompanied with the presence of the representative of the Grand Jury Ayatollah Shirazi, Sheikh Ahmed Al Badri, in Baghdad. New edition of Reply to Islamic Query published. With the efforts of the Query Center of Ayatollah Shirazi, a new edition of Reply to Islamic Queries was published. The 207th and 8th edition of this magazine included different topics as well as the statements of Ayatollah Shirazi, a set of Reply to Islamic Queries according to the latest fatwas of the Quran Juris, along with different religious and cultural articles. This magazine is written in Arabic and is available in different Islamic countries and other parts of the world. New Office of Ahl Bay Culture Charity Institution opened in Basra. Simultaneously with the auspicious birthday anniversary of Imam Hassan Askari, peace be upon him, the new Office of Culture Charity Institution of Ahl Bay, peace be upon them, was inaugurated in the city of Basra. In the ceremony, all which the representatives of the Grand Jewish the staff of Ahl Bay Institution, and a number of scholars and charity and cultural activists attended after recitation of Holy Quran, Sheikh Sadiq al Basri, the administrator of Ahl Bay Institution, reported the latest activities and programs of this institution. In addition, Sheikh Al al Basri, along with Dr. Amar al Abadi, delivered lectures over the importance of expanding culture and charity activities. 
Ayatollah Shirazi's office in Holy Karbala hosted different figures. A number of martyrs families of Abdul Husseinia from the city of Ahsan in Saudi Arabia, along with some Shias from the Al Sharia district of this country, attended in the office of Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Karbala and met with the staff of this office. In this meeting, Sayyid Mahdi Shirazi, pointing to some narrations from Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, explicated about the significance of being patient in approaching difficulties and hardships as a key figure in stability of believers and also strengthen the belief in Allah Almighty. Sayyid Mahdi Shirazi also had emphasized on the attention of families and generally all people of society to the upbringing the young generation with the true learnings of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. Conference on Economic Situation of a Walk held in Holy Karbala with the efforts of Al Farad Strategic Study and Research Center. A conference about the economic situation of a walk was held in the holy city of Karbala. In this conference, which accompanied with social and academic figures, Dr. Khalid Al Ardavi, Dr. Jassim Ad Dami, Dr. Hashem Jabr Al Husseini, and Sheikh Murtaza Maansh expressed their opinions over the subject of conference. At the end of this conference, Dr. Ardavi, the director of Al Farad Center, in form of publishing a book entitled As a Walk in 2005, 15 in soon future. This book included different articles and research about the economics of Iraq. It is noteworthy to say that Al Farad Strategic Study Center is dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi in the country of Iraq. Ayatollah Shura's Islamic Center inaugurated in Cuba with the efforts of donators and religious activists in Cuba. The Islamic Center of Ayatollah Shirazi was inaugurated in the capital city of this country, Havana. This is to be the first Islamic Center in this country to uphold congregational prayers and religious rituals in different occasions, along with setting courses over ethical and doctrinal issues and charity activities. Charity Activities of Karbala Institution According to the news received from Karbala Charity Institution, this center donated the monthly financial help to the poor and needy families. Over hundreds of orphans and needy families received these financial helps. Karbala Charity Institution is a dependent center to Ayatollah Shirazi in Iraq. Memorial Ceremonies of Bahraini Martyrs Held in Kuwait and Bahrain The memorial ceremonies of some Bahraini Shias who had been martyred in the return way of their pilgrimage from the holy city of Karbala in the border of Kuwait were held in Kuwait and Bahrain. In both ceremonials, in Ashirazi Center in Kuwait and the Office of Allah Muhtadi in Bahrain, different figures along with other people attended. It is noteworthy to say that the supports of Ayatollah Shirazi's office from the casualties and survivors of this event were appreciated during this ceremony. Testimonials. Peaceful Coexistence Conference held in Holy Karbala. During recent days, the holy city of Karbala witnessed a conference entitled as Peaceful Coexistence among different types of people in the society. In this conference, the envoy of United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Nicholas Miladinov, along with Sheikh Murtaza Mahash, the administrator of an Naba Cultural Institution, stated about current political, social, and cultural issues of Iraq and the solutions of improving current issues and peaceful coexistence. Ayatollah Shirazi's public relation office hosts figures in Iraq. A number of religious, political, social, and military figures, along with seminary students and members of Ansar al Hussein Brigade, attended the public relation office of Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Karbala and met with Sayyid Arif Nasrallah, the head of this office. In this meeting, the participants discussed the recent security, religious, political, and social issues of Iraq. The Peace Treaty of Imam Hassan, peace be upon him, republished in Holy Karbala. With the efforts of Imam Hassan Charity and Culture Institution, the book The Peace Treaty of Imam Hassan, an outstanding work by the late Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, was republished in Holy Karbala. This book addresses the reasons of Imam Hassan's peace treaty with Mavia and responds to questions in this area. The high position of Imam Hassan, the oppressed Shias, reasons behind the peace treaty, political and social background, and preparations for Imam Hussein's uprising are some chapters of this book. Charity program of Quran al Hakim Institution. Following the guidelines of Ayatollah Shirazi and simultaneously with the auspicious occasions of Rabi al Awal, Quran al Hakim Institution during a meeting donated some gifts and financial helps to the poor and needy people in the holy city of Karbala. In this charity program, which was accompanied by different religious figures and activists, hundreds of orphans and fatherless families enjoyed the supports as well as clothes, food, parcels, and life necessities. 
Revolutionary rule of Ayatollah Shirazi published in Beirut. During recent days, and with the efforts of Darul Uloom and Al Anwar cultural institutions, dependent to Ayatollah Shirazi, a book entitled as Revolutionary Rule of Ayatollah Shirazi was published in the capital city of Lebanon. This book reviewed the historical and significant role of Ayatollah Shirazi in different cultural, social, and political aspects, which declared it as a turning point in the history of jurisprudence. It is noteworthy to say that this book is written in 270 pages by Mr. Ahmad Abdul Rahim. Conference in Titleist Friendship with Book held in Holy Carvalho on the 17th of Rabiul Awal and concurrently with the auspicious birthday anniversary of Holy Prophet of Islam and Imam Sadiq peace be upon them, a conference in as Friendship with Book held by the Society of Sympathy in the Holy City of Carvalho. In this conference, the lecturers had emphasized on the importance of book and book reading in all circumstances as a key point for the advancement of a society. It is worthy to say that some valuable works of the Shirazi family had been introduced Introduce in this conference. <laughs>